Hello and welcome back to my channel Cab with Jordan. Today what I'm going to be showing you is how to apply a counter bore or a counter sink to any of the holes that you create using the hole tool that you can find at the top here. Now before I jump into this I want to say as usual uh, please take a look at the link in the description that will take you over to Udemy where you can buy a course that is for Autodesk Inventor and is aimed at beginners. It should teach you everything that you need to know. I promise you it is worth your time. There's like six hours of content on there. Anyway enough messing about let's get right in there. So what I'm going to do is begin by just putting down like a 100 by 100 rectangle in order for me to actually uh, put holes into. So I'll just make that 100 by 100 and then I will do it at 20 mil thick. So now I've got a rectangle. The way that you start using the hole tool is by selecting the points and obviously I've just started a new sketch. So you select your points and then you can put these down wherever you like and much like any other uh, sketch geometry you can use dimensions to decide whereabouts it's going to be and then obviously link that up to other parts of, of the part itself. And um, something else worth noting if I just put in a line right here I can also mirror these points so that way you know, they're all symmetrical, and when you move these, you'll see the other one is moving at the same time. So, yep, that's all my points in place, and that means that I'm going to have a hole that appears in each of these points. If I open up the hole tool, it will automatically select all of them. Now, what you came here for. Using the hole tool, what we're going to do is take a look at this menu, and if you just like a simple hole, then use the simple hole one, or you can use the tap tool, and then that opens up a bunch of options for your specific thread type. But for now, I'm just going to make it a simple through hole, and then I'm going to add my either counter bore or counter sink. And I'll start off with the counter bore, because it's a little bit more simple. Now they've all disappeared and that is because the seating is actually smaller than the hole right now because the hole's set at 6mm and we got it at 4 so what I'll do is I'll just set it at 10 or any number that's bigger I could set it to 7 uh, but 10 makes it look a bit easier to understand. So yeah that is it at 10 and then not only can we change the overall diameter of the seating we can actually change the depth of it as well so you can actually change these holes dependent on what uh, fixings it is that you're going to be using. So yeah that's how you would counterbore the hole and next we're going to show you the countersink and this is very similar except from rather than changing the depth of the hole you change the depth through the uh, angle that is created here so the angle as you'll see here is 90 degrees it isn't actually in this image but yes we're actually creating a 90 degree where these two lines connect if that makes sense and you can change the depth of it by reducing this angle and now you'll see that I have a 30 degree angle between each of these faces but more often than not with most fixings they have a 90 degree head much like many screws or bolts that you would have seen before and just like with the counter ball we can change the size of the head if that's something that you'd like to do so yeah that basically covers it very quick and easy tutorial on the whole tool. If you enjoy, please subscribe, please like. If you found any value in this, I would appreciate it. I'm trying to hit 100 subscribers by the end of the year. Uh, yeah, thanks very much.